So good morning. Um, I've had some very positive feedback from my atmospheric water generator that I invented uh, for the botanical garden in Haran. In fact, it enabled the garden to eventually achieve the Tansley effect, which is a theoretical, it's actually in the book Dune, but it's something that uh, ecologists have been trying to do for many years. How it effectively works is you get enough systems in, in an ecological system to reinforce each other and support each other that eventually you don't need to turn the water on. They, they capture enough on their own and they self-regulate and humans don't need to do anything at that point. That's what we would, that would be an, an effective ecological transformation. And it was one of my goals as a lark. I, I thought in theory it might be possible, but what ended up happening is that because of the initial uh, atmospheric water harvester that I invented, it actually achieved the tensely effect ultimately with one section of the garden. So for example, while the rest of the garden, we closed the project down, uh, while the rest of the garden, we closed it down, uh, there's still a sizable acre that is self-supportive without any water from anywhere. And we're talking about the desert. And through the atmospheric water harvester, I was able to actually create effectively Virginia in the Nega Desert on top of the mountain. So if that's possible there, it's certainly possible to do elsewhere in any man-made desert. So what this video is about is about a prototype atmospheric water generator that I have been designing and working on in my spare time. Uh, I divide my time between helping reform the air and Bedouin uh, education system and working on this kind of research. Okay, so let me give it to you guys straight. First of all, this prototype does not yet work. Way. The reason for this is, one, the components I'm using are still taken from garbage. I need actual sealant, I need actual kinds of materials so that I can make this airtight, because as it is, that's not airtight whatsoever. There's no way for it to maintain the moisture. That being said, the goal of this, the goal of this, so let me just lower the camera, the, the camera. The goals for each of these chambers to generate the moisture, it would actually be the opposite way around, so it would actually be held like this. And the water will collect, it'll form here, and then it'll flow out through the tubing here. You can see the usual little design. Currently though, none of this is of any kind of conductive nature that would work well for, for harvesting water in any capacity. Um, for one thing, as you can tell, this one's still even, I couldn't even clean it all the way. Remember, this is garbage that I had to use so I can design this kind of stuff. Sometimes it works out very well, but other times, unfortunately, you need professional materials, and this is the case. But how it's supposed to work is, each of these chambers is supposed to collect water, creating a kind of central cooling zone directly in the middle, and this will allow for more moisture con condensation. So it's going to be a self-supporting system. The original one that I invented uh, produced between 1 and 3 milliliters of water a day, which isn't a lot, but it's enough to keep a plant alive. This, I believe, could actually produce enough water for someone to survive off of. So if I had a functional unit where everything was sealed, where everything had uh, conductive materials and, and things like that, um, this could probably, I believe, produce enough water for one person a day. And my goal would be to get this into every household and with refining and possible better investment in and better development of materials, perhaps it could even produce enough for a household, in which case will have actually made a big difference worldwide. So while this is currently a prototype, it does not work. I don't want you guys to get that, that misconception. The original one, yes. The simplified one, yes. This no, because I do not have the materials I, need, I require to actually make it functional. But I want you guys to know that I'm still working on this project. I, I love this, and I truly believe that, uh, so for example, right now, I'm trying to get a rod to install a fog harvesting net so that we can get our water grid, our water from off the main grid, and we can produce our own just for the morning fog levels and everyone. So, you know, it's simple, but it requires that sealant, and it requires better materials for it to actually become functional. And this is part of why I'm returning to the United States, so that I can get both support 
funding and investment to actually further develop this. Because if this was used on a wide scale, my hope is uh, in the next 50 years that if everybody was doing this, we could perhaps restore the Sahara Desert to grasslands or the Mojave to grasslands. We don't need water from the rain. We need water from the air. There's plenty of it. So I just want to thank you guys for your support so far. You guys really do keep me going and you remind me why I care so much about the world and why I want this to work. So thank you again for listening and I hope you guys have a great day. I'm still working at it.